we're back with Folks Delaware. On Restaurant Corner tonight, we have something a little more different, well, a little unusual, let's say. Uh, a little out of the ordinary for you. Of course, uh, you see we're sitting at our normal talk set for Restaurant Corner. The reason is, tonight we're featuring Cowboys Restaurants and Saloon. Now, Cowboys Restaurants and Saloon is primarily an entertainment place, but it also has a full line of menu items. And we're going to be meeting right now the general manager, Glenn Brood, along with Vicki Evans, who's one of the bartenders there. Hello, Glenn. Hello, Vicki. Hi, Bob. How are you? Good how you uh, Glenn, uh, why don't you tell us what makes Cowboys Restaurant and Saloon so unique? Well, Bob, we thrive on being different, and we try to give you a nice variety seven nights a week. After all, variety is the spice of life. That's right. Vicki, what, what's your impressions on why uh, Cowboys Restaurant and Saloon is so unique? We offer something different every night of the week, all age groups. We have a video game room, we have a happy hour and a raw bar every day, and every night of the week we have some kind of different entertainment and constant music with DJ and bands. Some of the best bands in the area are out. What do you serve on your raw bar? Oysters, clams. Mm -hmm. Plus we have uh, mushrooms, all assortment of hors d'oeuvres. Mm -hmm. Hot hors d'oeuvres. Mm -hmm. Now, generally, what types of food do you serve there, by the way, Glenn? We have 16-ounce uh, T-bones, tremendous ribs, fabulous shrimp, great club sandwiches, mm -hmm. good salads, chili, Texas hot-style chili, really good. How about taking us on a tour of Cowboys right now? Sure. Okay. What is the first uh, scene we'll be seeing here coming up in a moment? This is um, right by the, behind the bar, I That's recall. The back bar. Mm -hmm. We do have three bars. Mm -hmm. Shot of the band set. That's uh, Panic. They were in that week. In oh, yes. Seat. Looking again for another shot from behind the bar, some of the crowd. Another shot of the crowd. Mm -hmm. Well, it certainly you seems to be active place. Some idea of our clientele. Mm -hmm. What's going on here, Glenn? Big celebration. Yeah, a couple Who's of this fella here? A couple of happy hour people having a good time. Uh huh. Cowgirls Fine and story. cowboys. This is the outside of the uh, of your restaurant. Who's that fella? It looks it's like you. Yours truly. Mm -hmm. And that's Missy there, the cashier. Mm -hmm. Another crowd shot here. Is this after it's all over? Cleaning up after? Is your yeah, cleanup crew does a good job? This is our fireplace for those cold winter nights. Very nice interior. Happy couple just got divorced. Oh. Cowboys is a little bit for everyone, huh? Everything. Mm -hmm. Now, I see you brought a nice uh, display of sandwiches and food along with it you tonight. Why don't you tell us some of the items uh, that you brought along? Well, here we have our uh, chef salad. Has ham, cheese, turkey. Really well stuffed, well worth the money. Then we have a shrimp dinner over there, which comes complete with uh, bread and butter, shrimp, french fries. And these are a few clams, but our clam board, the raw board during happy hour, is much more uh, larger. Mm -hmm. And uh, a club sandwich here, which you can see is overstuffed. We try to go out of our way to make our items you know, well worth your money so you'll come back. Mm -hmm. And here we have the 16-ounce T-bone. On, on the uh, table here in right front of here. me, I've got two nice uh, looking dishes here. 16-ounce T-bone, which I think is hard to beat anywhere else. And our roaring ribs, which are fabulous. Many compliments on our ribs. The ribs dish over here ne and the next to that dish is nice. Um, do you, um, do you serve them every night, by the way? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Seven nights a week. Mm -hmm. well, looks like a nice spread of food, in addition to having a nice entertainment. Speaking of entertainment, you've got some entertainment specials coming up in the future, is that right? That's correct. Wh what's coming up? Well, March uh, 16th, we have a Saint, uh, we have a four-band showcase, and March 17th, we have a St. Patty's Day beach party. And then March 30th, we're having another uh, band showcase, which will be six bands, which will start like about 8 o'clock at night. So you have to get there really early. What's a beach party all about? Well, we put sand down and lights, and everybody wears like beach clothes. Mm -hmm. Some people wear bathing suits. Mm -hmm. It's really a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. The last one we had was a real uh, went over really well. Vicky, but what about some of the other entertainment that they have at night? Okay, on Tuesdays we have male exotic dancers come out, and oh. uh, this week we're having from London, England, Carrie Gordon. Carrie Gordon. Back by popular demand. He was out one time before. He was really fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, on Wednesdays is ladies' nights. All our drinks are a dollar. Thursdays we have gin, rum, and vodka drink specials for 50 cents. Mm -hmm. Beer blasts on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And of course we do have bands seven nights a week. Mm -hmm. Now you're the bartender there. Are there any one of many, of course? Oh, yeah. Any special drinks that you'd recommend? We do make frozen strawberry coladas, daiquiris, uh, frozen strawberry daiquiris. We do make many exotic drinks. Mm -hmm. And our reservations are not necessary, correct? No. And you do accept major credit cards? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Glenn, why don't you tell us again, where are you located? In the Pike Creek Valley Shopping Center, mm -hmm. right off of Limestone Road. Mm -hmm. And what are your hours there? Nine in the morning till one in the morning. How many days a week? Seven, nights a, seven days and nights a week. I would like to emphasize that. We are open Sunday nights for entertainment. 
Mm-hmm. And we do have live music on Monday. Live music six nights a week, uh, five nights a week, and something out of the ordinary on Tuesdays, which either a male exotic dancer or a band showcase. Well, Cowboys Restaurant and Saloon does sound like a little different place than, than the normal uh, bill of fare that you'd find in the restaurants in this area. And I invite all your viewers to uh, be Glenn's guest and come out to uh, Cowboys Restaurant. Incidentally, uh, Glenn has been kind enough to provide us with a gift certificate for dinner for two. Not only will you get dinner for two, but you're going to have a nice entertainment evening, depending upon the night you pick and the special of that evening. And all you have to do is answer this question. Name the restaurant sponsoring Focus Delaware, specializing in crab meat delights. Again, the question is, name the Focus Delaware sponsor, specializing in crab meat delights. Now, if you know the name of that restaurant, call 652-4424. And if you're the fifth caller with the correct answer, you're going to win yourself a gift certificate for dinner for two to Cowboys Restaurant and Saloon. Remember our special rule, if you've won within the last eight weeks, please don't call. We'd like to give everyone a fair chance to win. Glenn, Vicki, thanks for being on Focus Delaware. We had our giveaway winner. I just forgot to tell you about it. The question was, what's the name of the restaurant that's sponsoring Focus Delaware that specializes in crab meat delights? The answer is Leonardo's Crab Trap. And the winner this week is Mickey Poindexter of the 400 block of Tamara Circle in Newark, Delaware. Congratulations, Mickey. Our Focus Delaware staff will be contacting you to make sure you get your gift certificate for dinner for two at Cowboys Restaurant and Saloon. And why don't you pick a good night to go there? I think they have ladies' night on Wednesday night. You might want to hit it that night.